country, the Philippines, is without bias one of the most beautiful countries in the Southeast Asia. Blessed with world-class beaches, beautiful landscapes, and an exquisite cuisine, the Philippines is home to millions of Filipinos. In 2019, the Department of Tourism recorded an 8.26 million foreign visitor arrivals in the country. These foreign tourists enjoyed the abundance and bounty the country offered. But do you know that the Philippines is a country prone to natural hazards? And on top of all this is the fact that the Philippines rests in the Pacific Ring of Fire. What is the Ring of Fire? The Ring of Fire, also known as the Circum Pacific Belt, is a famous region along the Pacific Ocean. This is where a lot of volcanic eruptions and earthquakes occur. More than 450 active and dormant volcanoes can be found here. That is 75% of Earth's volcanoes gathered in just one circular region around the Pacific Ocean. 99% of the deadliest earthquakes in the world history occurred here. Are you ready to learn more? Very good! I am Mom Love, your teacher in disaster readiness and risk reduction. So what are you waiting for? Let's start! Now, be ready with your pen and notebook and let us check your prior knowledge about disasters. Instructions Choose the letter of the best answer. Write the chosen letter on your notebook. Number 1. Which of the following is a sudden, calamitous occurrence that causes great harm, injury, destruction, and devastation to life and properties? A. Disaster B. Hazard C. Phenomenon or letter D. Risk Number 2. A natural disaster is a blank event A. Expected B. Planned C. Scheduled or letter D. Unexpected Number 3. It is also called as a circum-Pacific belt, the zone of earthquakes surrounding the Pacific Ocean where about 99% of the world's earthquake occurs. A. Tectonic chain B. Ring of chain C. Ring of fire or letter D. Shaking belt Number 4. All the following show the effect of disasters except A. Displacement of populations B. Damage to the ecological environment C. Destruction of a population's homeland or letter D. Economic stability Number 5. Which of the following is an example of man-caused disaster? A. Storm surges B. Flooded coastal areas C. Landslide due to typhoons or letter D. Oil spills from a leaking tanker Number 6. Which of the following is an example of natural hazards? A. Factories B. Fault lines C. Mining sites or letter D. Chemical plants Number 7. Which of the following is not a type of natural hazard that causes disaster? A. Tornado 
B. Typhoon C. Earthquake or letter D. Car Accident Number 8. It is defined as the source of danger in something that may cause injury or harm. A. Disaster B. Hazard C. Phenomenon or letter D. Risk Number 9. The potential disaster losses in lives, health statuses, livelihoods, assets, and services which could occur in a particular community or a society over some specified future time period is called A. Disaster Risk B. Disaster Mitigation C. Disaster Preparedness or Letter D. Disaster Prevention Number 10. Disaster risk can be determined by the presence of the following elements of disaster except A. Phenomenon B. Coping capacity C. Vulnerability to hazard or letter D. Hazard, natural or man-made Did you get all the correct answers? Great! If not, watch on and learn more. Learning about disasters and disaster risk can help prepare ourselves for the damage that it might cause. But let us first define what disaster is. Disaster is a sudden calamitous occurrence that causes great harm, injury, and destruction and devastation to life and property. It disrupts the usual course of life, causing both physical and emotional distress, as well as an intense feeling of helplessness and hopelessness. When we say disruption, that means there is a break or interruption or problem in an otherwise normal flow of life for people or the community. It becomes a serious disruption when it causes large-scale damage to people and property. These damages must be so widespread that the affected community don't have the ability to manage on their own. According to the Disaster Risk Reduction Resource Manual of DepEd, disasters are emergencies that cannot be handled by those affected without outside assistance. They need outside help from other people, from the government or the local government units, or aids from other countries to be able to stand back again and resume their normal lives before the disaster happened. Two elements are often at risk during disasters. First, the people. There is a threat to life injury, diseases, emotional and mental instability, and in worst cases, death when disaster strikes. Second, the property. These means uncountable damage to property, loss of assets, social and economic disruptions, and environmental destruction can happen during disasters. And how do we classify disasters? Disasters can be categorized into two. First, the natural disasters, and second, the man-made disasters. A natural disaster is a major adverse event resulting from natural processes of the earth. Examples include floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunamis, storms, and other geologic processes. Man-made disasters are the result of man's negligence, errors, or intention. Man-made disasters are subdivided into three categories. First, the technological or industrial disasters. These include infrastructure collapse, leaks of hazardous materials, accidental explosions, or utility failure. 
And this happens due to unregulated industrialization and inadequate safety standards. Second, the transportation disasters. This includes crash or collision of any road, rail, water, aviation and space transportation, resulting to loss of life and major damage to properties. And the last is the social disaster or disasters induced entirely by human. Examples are war and terrorism, social unrest and any economic activities that might push people in a state of need. In such situations, large number of people are displaced from their homes due to lack of personal safety and the lack of access to adequate basic needs like food, health services, shelter, and water. How did disaster risk come about? This is what we will be discussing in the next episode. So make sure to stay tuned to learn more. Kahanda.